Period dramas are having a moment right now, and it's all thanks to Netflix's Bridgerton. The big-budget series about the Bridgerton family navigating London's society and the marriage market is a delicious drama full of promenading, classic pop covers, and instantly iconic declarations of love. I burn for you. It also has an inclusive cast, sex scenes that would make Jane Austen faint, and the zippy dialogue fans have come to expect from a Shondaland show. With you in my arm, the world will believe I finally found my duchess. If this is to work, you must appear madly in love. But Bridgerton is far from the first series to send period drama fans into a frenzy. The genre has been around for quite some time, and there are plenty of superb shows that paved the way for Bridgerton's progressive society debut. Period dramas have been pushing the bounds of what's acceptable in a story set in Victorian London, the Regency era, and beyond for decades now. The best of this genre effortlessly melds romance with social commentary and unforgettable heroines, simultaneously sweeping viewers off their feet and challenging their ideas about the past. Ultimately, Bridgerton is the product of a long line of masterpiece theater productions and BBC shows that were unafraid to challenge the status quo. But how does the Netflix series stack up to the shows that came before it? Watch on to find out where it lands on our list of the best period dramas ever. Number 10. Gentleman Jack. Based on the real-life story of Anne Lister, Gentleman Jack is anchored by a towering performance from Sir Anne Jones. Over the course of the first season, Anne swaggers around the small town of West Yorkshire in search of a wife. I thoroughly intend to live with someone I love. Miss Lister. Miss Walker while also scandalizing the community by daring to manage her family's finances. Ultimately, she finds love with the timid Anne Walker, and in the process, the series becomes an epic love story about defying conventions. Gentleman Jack is a sexy, bold series that completely flips the traditional period drama narrative on its head. This is a show about a woman in want of a wife. Number 9. Victoria. The influence of England's Victorian era on everything from romance novels to Christmas can't be overstated. However, the young Queen Victoria is often thought of in the abstract. Victoria changes all of that by giving her a voice and a richly drawn personal life. I wish to be called Victoria. Queen Victoria. Like the real Victoria, actress Jenna Coleman is small in stature, but she carries herself with a distinctly royal air, whether she's falling for the dashing Prince Albert or navigating a burgeoning revolution. In terms of royal-based period dramas, this series is by far one of the best, and that's thanks in large part to the way it balances court intrigue with matters of the heart. Number 8. Anne with an E. The Netflix series Anne with an E updates Lucy Maud Montgomery's beloved Anne of Green Gables story for a modern generation. My name is Anne Shirley Cuthbert and please be sure to spell Anne with an E. Over the course of three seasons, the series tackles subjects like racism, feminism, and PTSD, none of which are openly discussed in the books on which the series is based. But Anne with an E's greatest strength is actually its willingness to not be beholden to the text. As a result, viewers get to see Anne Shirley in an entirely new light. Yes, she's still an orphan brimming with optimism who is taken in by adult siblings Marilla and Matthew Cuthbert, but the added darkness only makes her sunny outlook on life all the more potent. Number 7. Poldark. Bridgerton is getting plenty of attention for its brazen sexiness, but Poldark was steaming up Sunday nights on PBS long before the Netflix series came along. Set in the late 1700s, the series follows Captain Ross Poldark as he returns to Cornwall after the Revolutionary War to find his father is dead, the woman he loves married his cousin, and his family's fortunes have all but dried up. This leads to plenty of brooding on the part of Ross, but Poldark's greatest asset isn't its protagonist, but rather the fierce Demelza Karn. Demelza begins the series as Ross's maid, but the sizzling chemistry between them soon becomes too much to resist, leading to a complex love story about two flawed people that plays out over five dramatic seasons of quality television. Number 6. Bridgerton. Netflix presented the world with Bridgerton on Christmas Day, and honestly, we couldn't have asked for a better present. Lady Whistledown has all but declared me ineligible. Whistledown. 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 The series about the Bridgerton and Featherington families navigating the social minefield that is London's ton is inclusive, stylish, and romantic. It's also fearless when it comes to serving up intimate sex scenes, which is still a rarity in the world of period dramas. This bright and addictive series has captured imaginations the world over and sparked a renewed interest in the period drama genre, not bad for a show that's just getting started. Number 5. The Crown. Let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. My name is Elizabeth. In 
Long live Queen Elizabeth. Netflix's The Crown is the most contemporary series on this list, but it brings the recent past to life so vividly, it absolutely must be included. Whether you're in awe of Queen Elizabeth II's long reign or still obsessed with Diana, this peek behind the curtain at the Windsors is always entertaining, with production values that are, quite frankly, drool-worthy. Add in a revolving door of gifted cast members playing the royals through every stage of life, and it's impossible not to bow down to the crown. Number 4. Sanditon. Bridgerton may have the bigger budget, but Sanditon was telling inclusive, sexy stories about a young woman coming of age a full year before Daphne Bridgerton made her society debut. Based on Jane Austen's unfinished novel of the same name, Sanditon takes place at a seaside resort town where Charlotte Haywood gets her first taste of the real world, which includes dealing with scheming step-siblings reenacting cruel intentions in the Regency era, falling for the ridiculously hot Mr. Sidney Parker, and helping her friend defy her guardian's wishes and connect with the man she loves. ITV and Masterpiece inexplicably cancelled Sanditon after one season, but its passionate fanbase is still hoping someone will save this daring period drama, which speaks to just how impactful Charlotte's story is despite it only lasting eight episodes. Number 3. Pride and Prejudice. In 1995, Colin Firth's Mr. Darcy walked out of a pond soaking wet Miss Bennett. Mr. Darcy? and changed period dramas forever. The Pride and Prejudice miniseries' influence on this genre as a whole can't be overstated. By daring to add flourishes to Austen's beloved text, the series paved the way for future adaptations to toss out the rulebook, and that's something every fan of Austen and good costume dramas should be eternally grateful for. Number 2. Outlander. I distinctly heard the barman refer to us as Sassamax. I hope you didn't take offense. It only means Englishman, or at worst, Outlander. Outlander's distinctive mix of fantasy and historical drama is too delicious to resist. Jamie and Claire Fraser's love story is the very definition of epic. Nothing can keep these two apart, not war, not trauma, and not even time itself. As they move through some of the most momentous moments in history, one thing always remains the same, they can't get enough of each other. Which is good news for the legion of fans who in turn can't get enough of their intense and sexy scenes. Jamie and Claire just keep on moving the needle forward in terms of the level of hotness the usually chaste period drama genre can get away with, and the show deserves all of the accolades for being unapologetic about the fact that its main characters can't keep their hands off of each other at any stage of life. Number 1. Downton Abbey. When Downton Abbey premiered in 2010, it took the world by storm, and obsessing over the lives of the Crawley family and their servants became a way of life for some fans. The series notably takes advantage of the fact that it's set during a time when the British aristocracy was waning. As a result, the Crawleys are often making desperate moves to hold on to their family estate, but behind the scenes, many members of the household, both upstairs and down, are flirting with modernity. From joining the women's movement to navigating the perils of practicing safe sex in the early 20th century, the characters are always moving forward, despite the older generation's desire for things to stay the same. Ultimately, Downton Abbey excels at balancing classic period drama tropes with the style and substance of prestige TV. The end result is a show that nabbed Emmys, captured the zeitgeist, and led to a successful film, all while proving to Hollywood that there's no reason a show can't be soapy, romantic, and utterly deserving of the same level of accolades as something as dark and serious as Breaking Bad.